Hello, hello and welcome to another update video about Ethereum. Um, Ethereum continues to be in this sideways action. I mean, on a Saturday you don't expect much price action, but tomorrow uh, we will face the weekly candle close. That's typically a time when we start to see some volatility and where the next impulsive move could be kicking off. In this video we want to talk about the relevant levels and what to watch out for, because what is the level where we need to be focused or start to be focused more on the bullish side and what is the level that needs to hold for us to remain more focused on the bearish side short term at least yeah overall this is pretty bullish price action anyway on the on the ethereum chart yeah we've been talking about that that we deal here with a 1212 setup like on the bitcoin chart um this is at least here until support breaks a pretty bullish price action a 1212 setup um, surely you could interpret that as an ABC, but as long as bullish support is holding, we can focus on that and um, there is no reason to be bearish at this stage, in my opinion, as long as these support levels are holding. Important though is to understand what are the support levels and the most relevant here for me is the 1534 level. That is the 78.6 Fibonacci retracement of this 1-2 setup and uh, or of the wave 1 actually. And uh, a break below that will make new bear market lows more likely. However, not the primary expectation yet because it, the other, other scenarios are possible. But certainly in an ideal world, it should hold the 1534 level and we could rally in a third wave that could take us to $3,000 plus. However, I don't think this will be easy. I think it will take a long time. Um, I did say that in the Bitcoin video as well. I think um, it will, especially emotional traders, will have a very hard time in the next few weeks and months yeah, because uh, anybody who's trading things aggressively I think will face a lot of unexpected headwinds um, so just be aware of that that it could be difficult on the way up it might not be as it always has been um, choppy price action just makes me think that okay um, so but tactically speaking that means you know scaling in scaling out taking profits regularly I think that will be the tactic to to use but that's up to you you know everybody is trading differently um what i found quite interesting uh, i look at the chart again today a little bit closer and i think we have a possible descending wedge emerging here um it's not terribly well defined but um you have something like that which more or less yeah and i will leave that on the chart now because that could be very interesting um i've got certainly a few touch points there maybe i haven't drawn that now perfectly it's not the you know Perf the, the most perfectly defined descending wedge but i think we have a reason to to see that and identify that here so i'll leave it on the chart with these dotted lines might be interesting to focus on it's certainly a pattern that would typically break to the upside not always but in most cases yeah um it will be interesting so funny enough funny enough if we zoom in, by the way, I see this as a wave two, okay? And I see this as an ABC correction, ABC. We talked about that. We're now in the C wave ending diagonal. Other interpretations are possible. Um, could be a WXY as well. But the thing is, it doesn't really make a difference. What I give you here is probably in this scenario, the worst case, where we could head a little bit lower and towards the lower end of this support area. But ideally, I would like to see it finish somewhere here around 1660. We will see, okay? Now let's go into the detail um, and that's what I find interesting I mean again this upper trend line isn't great um, do not have don't have enough touch points but actually we have probably yeah we have three now and this this is interesting so we, we just try to break out of this wedge to the upside um, now I don't focus too much on the wedge but it's certainly something interesting uh, what I find more important is the uh, fib retracement levels so Obviously, based on this count, we came down of this 10th of May low, a uh, high, sorry, came down, bottomed here on the 12th of May, rallied in a correction. So I see this as an AB, yeah, which could now result in a C wave down. And off the C wave, we might have seen the wave one already. This is a wave two pullback, which is already, yeah, in resistance now. It shouldn't push much higher in an ideal world and then should see a sell off in a third wave shortly, which could tell it, you know, take us sort of to the lower support line of that um, or trend line of the wedge and sort of close to that 1660 level. Now if we zoom in a little bit then we can see that 
in this C wave. Again, we've done the wave one. We are now working on the wave two. Um, as I said in the previous video, while it looked weak, the move down started to look corrective. So it might push higher a little bit still. We haven't had any signal, strong signal that it has topped yet. So I go to the one hour chart. Um, it's just trying to break above that wedge. It could give it a bit of upside. Um, ideally, to remain focused on the downside, it's the 1847 level that shouldn't be broken. If we break above that, it could indicate further upside, first of all, to 1872. And above 1872, we can consider that Ethereum has bottomed or we see a rally into the 1940-1950 range. Okay, um, so this is sort of what I observe. Um, again, I would like to see a reaction here. Otherwise, above 1847, I may have to change the wave count. So 1847 is a very important pivot point. Now, I'm not talking about a brief break of, you know, it's not like an invalidation point, but a sustained break above it will make this wave two very unlikely. And then we have to consider either, well, more short term, at least more bullish options. Okay. And I will then change the wave count. Um, but certainly we're fighting just now with this wedge, which I find quite interesting. And a uh, first signal that we, or a strong signal that we do break down, yeah, and this, this wave two is finished, would be a break below the X wave low. And we talk here about roughly 1798. That's the level we want to see breaking to confirm that we have topped here because at the moment, until we have that signal, the short term trend is clearly up. Okay, so short term, while I would like to see a reaction here, until we see a signal, I can't tell you the trend has shifted. The trend only shifts if I see a clear signal. Yeah, And I think the first indication would be a break below 1815, this swing low. Um, and then I will confirm that we have topped if we break below 1798. Until then, this can push higher. Yeah, because Especially because the move down was only in three waves, not a five wave move. So it will be interesting, especially now with this break of the wedge. Yeah, and that's my update about Ethereum. I hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership and also make sure that you follow us on Instagram and Twitter. You can find the links in the description. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.